So web paint is fantastic. Uh, if you already have, um, no, I don't want that. If you already have, um, if you're using Zoom, then Zoom has an integrated uh, annotation. So you don't really need web paint. But um, if you are a Google Meet school, web paint can be fantastic because it'll give you that annotation stuff. Um, so I will show you, let me go ahead. Uh, I dropped the link for you guys in the chat. If for some reason you don't see web paint up here as an extension, you're gonna wanna click on this like little puzzle piece up here. And that's your extensions. You'll find web paint and then you'll click on this little pin and it'll make sure it stays up there. So let me come off of this screen. Um, I'll go here, I'll do it on this one. So I'm gonna activate web paint. And so again, if you got Zoom, you already have your web annotation. But if you don't have Zoom and you're using Google Meet or even like, um, some people like to use it with Microsoft Teams as well, but this will also, um, I guess if you're Microsoft Team, you'll be on something else, but um, this will give you the ability to annotate. So we've got pencil, you got an eyedropper, you've got um, a text. So I, then at this point, I can annotate over the screen. Um, I can change the size of that annotation. I can take uh, screenshots. Um, I can do all of the things. So that's my screenshot, I can crop it. Say so I only want that part, finish. Um, Okay. okay, download it, cool. And so now I've downloaded that screenshot from Web Paint. It's on my other screen, sorry about that. And then I can print. So there's a lot of like different tools that you can use within, um, within Web Paint. Okay, finish. Okay, give me a second. There we go. Um, so there's a lot of different tools that you can use within it. Uh, over here on the right hand side, if I've done a bunch of annotations, I don't like them. I can clearly I can clear them all with this little button here. There is the uh, bucket tool so I can fill in a particular area. Like that. Um, there's my selection tool here, if I ever need to like select anything, I can make squares and like, you know, I'll say, well, it's this one, look for the one that says frozen, right? So I can use this annotation tool over a Google Meet. So it's one of my favorite little extensions to use. To so turn it off, um, I'll sweep this clean first and then you'll just click on web paint again or this little close button here right on the end to get rid of it. Um, so that's one of my favorite little quick annotations. And as you can see, like I annotated over this, I navigated to something else, annotated over, annotated over this. This stays until I tell it to go away. So I'll sweep that clean and I'm done. But if I went back over to, I think it was on Nearpod, you'll see that annotation is still there until I actually say that I'm done with it. So I do like that it stays up there. <laughs> 